being a music therapist for 42 years plus, um, you know, the planning of activities and the creative part of it is something that, that flows for me. Well, I think it kind of began when I first started playing the guitar in junior high school. Visited my great-grandfather. Couldn't, he couldn't uh, have a conversation. He probably had Alzheimer's. We didn't call it that then. But when I played my guitar, he sang along with the hymns. And I realized that there's something that goes on with heart and brain, you know, that's different with music. And that was the beginning. I went to school in Miami, the University of Miami Music School, and I began uh, working in gerontology. I worked in a, in a home with about 500 uh, Jewish residents, mostly born in Europe after the war. Yeah, so I learned lots of Yiddish music. <laughs> um, and then I worked for a short period of time also in Miami for United Cerebral Palsy. And that was where I first got interested in working with children with disabilities. When I first came and visited, it was a, um, a visit I made just to learn about, you know, healthcare services. And I met that day with the principal and just to talk, you know, and I, I offered to do an in-service for teachers, you know, who just might be interested in using music in different ways. Um, but that night she called and said, I've been thinking about this. We have an opening for three teachers. I'd like to try two teachers and a music therapist with these preschool students. And that's where it began in like September and then by December we they all the classes wanted music therapy so from then on it's been uh, you know just a program for everyone. The things that I have learned, the way that I have grown um, as a therapist, as a mom, as you know I always say I felt like being a therapist made me a better mom, being a mom made me a better therapist. There's a conversation that happens with music um, that's, I think, beyond even language that can be a real gift for, for students and for families and, you know, just to know that there's meaningful things happening, um, people to people, heart to heart things. <laughs> There was a student, uh, um, elementary student volunteer asked me, they said, is it really hard to teach them? And I said to them, that's a good question. But you know what? When you get to know them and you get to love them, it's not any harder than anybody else. It's a privilege. It is a privilege to have a job I love and a job where I can make music every day. <laughs>